What's going on, smart people? Yesterday was the last day of my first semester of grad school for physics. I had my last final exam yesterday. I finished my last homework yesterday at like 2.30 something in the morning. It was a long one. But now, now it's done. For those of you who might be new, about four months ago, I moved almost 2,000 miles across the country to take graduate physics courses at a school I didn't get into so that I could better my chances next time around. And yesterday was the last day. I took a course in classical mechanics, math methods for physics, and quantum mechanics. Just the easy ones. These are all courses that you will have taken throughout your undergraduate, but just like how in your introductory physics class you're not going to be using Lagrangians, uh, there's still a lot of material in your advanced classical mechanics class, for example, that you are skipping over. For example, things like Hamilton-Jacobi theory, and this is why these things are still taught in grad school even though you've already been exposed to them. Having said that, I wasn't really expecting it to be quite as challenging as it was. Now you probably have heard me refer to myself a couple times as a fake grad student, and that's because I'm not a part of the program, so I'm not TAing and I'm not doing research, so all I really had to worry about was homeworks and exams. And for me, out of those two, the more stressful uh, thing was the homeworks, just because of how long these little assholes took to complete. <laughs> One of my professors says that laziness is sometimes a virtue in physics because it forces you to come up with a creative way to solve a problem that saves both time and shock. And as I've mentioned before, I'm not clever enough to be lazy, so I use a lot of, well, I don't have a chalkboard, but I have a dry erase board, and I go through markers like that. Uh, because I, I tend to brute force my way through these problems because I find a way that will work, that will get me the right answer, and I go with it, I stick with it, and then it's not until afterwards that I say, you know what? Uh, this was symmetric about the whatever axis, and I could have exploited that. But I think I've gotten a lot better at exploiting those symmetries and becoming a little bit more clever this semester just out of necessity because if you don't that's when these homework assignments take like 12 hours to do it's like what can i do so that i don't want to die and this became more important once i started having quizzes you know that time constraint is really there and for my first quantum quiz i didn't even finish it because i brute forced my way through the first problem that had a very simple and kind of obvious better way of doing it and it kept me from finishing the quiz so you learn that you know there's value to taking some time and seeing if there's better ways to go about it it's kind of like a chess game but instead of, you know, not wanting to lose valuable pieces, it's not wanting to lose valuable time. It's like, do I really want to send that queen out there to capture that pawn, or is there a better way to go about this? Having said that, even if you are very clever, these homeworks still do take a long time. You know, sometimes they're just genuinely difficult problems, and sometimes they're very tedious problems. But one recurring theme for all of my classes is that they're always good problems. It's always me seeing the problem and be like, damn, this is gonna suck but I see why this is important to go through. Now, moving on to exams, it's kind of funny because I remember when I was still a biology major back in undergrad, uh, one of my finals for biology was like 300 questions. And I remember finishing it with like 45 minutes to spare or something like that, something absurd like that. And here, it'll be like five questions on a final. And I'm like, how the hell am I supposed to finish five questions in two hours? But when it came to the exams, they were always uh, challenging, but really fair. I never walked away from an exam thinking it was like a piece of cake, but I never thought that they were unreasonable. And the professors were always more than willing to see you during office hours or respond to my emails to clear up any confusion I might have. So it was really like they gave you all the tools you really needed to make sure that you could do well on the exams. And that's all you can really ask for. We had three finals, which we haven't actually gotten back yet, and then two midterms, and we didn't have a midterm for quantum mechanics. And for the midterms, I got B, B pluses, which is, which is okay. I mean, it's not an A, but I'll take it. So overall, we still have the finals to get back, but I think I did pretty well this semester, uh, which is a good indicator. You know, I moved almost 2,000 miles here. It's good to know that I didn't like quit halfway through, I guess. Overall, this semester was a great experience. I met some awesome people. Hopefully, I get to do it again next semester as a real grad student. We'll see how that goes. Uh, let me know in the comments section what you guys have planned over break, and I'll see you guys there.